Hello and welcome to today's special topic on the Divine Mercy Sunday. Now in today's um, special session that we have prepared just for you, we'll be talking a lot about tomorrow's event, tomorrow's feast day, which is the Divine Mercy Sunday. We're going to separate this into three segments. So there will be three videos on this and we'll be uploading this on YouTube. So if you're watching this, that means you're on YouTube and let's get going. Okay, so let's look at the first part here. The origins and purpose of Divine Mercy Sunday. So let's have a look at what Christ himself said. Now this was a taken from the diary entry by St. Faustina. She took this down and the di diary entry number is 699. So what did Christ say to St. Faustina? So let's have a look. My daughter, tell the whole world about my inconceivable mercy. I desire that the feast of mercy be a refuge and shelter for all souls and especially for poor sinners. Now on that day, the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy. I'd like you to spend a moment to reflect on what our Christ said to our to Saint Faustina. And let's focus on certain words here. Inconceivable mercy, desire. Feast of Mercy. Let's have a look at these words. Let's meditate a while on these words. It'll give you an understanding on the origins and purpose of the Divine Mercy. Our Lord, last week on, <clears throat> on Easter, rose from the dead. But let's focus a bit more on the passion of our Lord on Good Friday. Out of love for us, he sacrificed himself. He was the Lamb of God who took away our sins. And he rose from the dead last week to show that he had overcome death. Now, this week, a week later, we celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. Our Christ wants to show the whole world his inconceivable mercy. Mercy is something that we don't deserve, but it's, it's inconceivable mercy. We cannot fathom it. We cannot think about it. We, we, it doesn't jive into us. Inconceivable. We just could not conceive. And that's how deep and great our Lord's mercy is towards us. And let's look at the word, I desire, God desires. I desire that the feast of mercy, so the divine mercy is a feast that, and it's a feast, a feast of mercy. Be a refuge and shelter. That's the purpose here. That's the purpose. Refuge and shelter for whom? For all souls. Every single soul. And especially for poor sinners. Sinners like you and me. A refuge and shelter. A place that we can feel safe. And we can feel safe in Christ himself. Through his inconceivable mercy. Now, let's move on still to diary entry 699 and we look further into the origins and purpose of Divine Mercy Sunday. Let's continue with this. The feast of mercy emerged from my very depths of tenderness. Our Lord is full of tender and mercy. And so where did the feast of mercy came from? It came from Christ himself. It's not humanly made. It came from Christ himself. The feast of mercy emerged came from our Lord's depths of mercy, of tenderness. And again, he re-emphasizes it is his desire. It is my desire that it be solemnly celebrated on the first Sunday after Easter. So to the question, if you're going to ask, why do we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday one week after Easter? Why not two or three? Well. Being obedient to Christ, we are fulfilling our Lord's desire. It is my desire that it be solemnly celebrated. And when, where do we solemnly celebrate? During Mass. And when do we do this? 
first Sunday after Easter. Last week, last Sunday was Easter. So tomorrow is the first Sunday after Easter, hence the Divine Mercy Sunday. Mankind will not have peace until it turns to the fount of my mercy, the fount of our lost mercy. Until we go to his fountain of mercy, we will not have peace, especially today where we are stricken by a disease called the COVID-19. And all of us at home listening to this, that's because of the MCO. Now, this ends this pretty much tells us a lot about our Lord's desire for us, his love for us. Hence, I would recommend you to have a go, have a look at these two videos on YouTube, okay? Uh, you guys can just type on, on YouTube and just type this out, uh, Divine Mercy Sunday 2019, Peace and Mercy, and uh, it is by Catholic Minute, so go ahead and type that out on YouTube and listen to um, what Divine Mercy Sunday is all about from the Catholic speaker Ken Yazinski. Okay, and once you've done that, you can also look into this what to do on Divine Mercy Sunday tomorrow in, on April 19th, especially during this whole uh, staying at home and um, participating in Mass. What can we do? What should we do before? And during mass so go ahead and listen to this talk by this priest uh, father chris Allar. and uh, how how can you get to the link uh, you can either type the link down there or you can just type on youtube what to do on divine mercy sunday bracket open bracket april 19 close bracket with the question mark you'll get this video all right so we'll go to our second part in a short while and thank you very much and uh, god bless you so I'm just going to stop this recording.